Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to start a peripheral IV. Before performing any nursing skills, you want to make sure that you're following your hospital's protocols to ensure you're following the latest guidelines. Before inserting the IV, first what you want to do is you want to gather your supplies and perform hand hygiene. Then after that you want to prepare your supplies and find a vein that you want to use on your patient to actually insert the IV in. Once you have done that, you'll perform hand hygiene, don gloves, and then prepare for insertion. So here we have actually trimmed the patient's hair, and sometimes you have to do this because what will happen is whenever you go to secure it, the tape will not stick to the patient, it'll roll off over time, and then plus whenever you go to remove the IV, it'll be very painful to that person who has a lot of hair. So we have used trimmers that have just trimmed it. You don't ever wanna use like a straight razor, so use whatever trimming supplies that your facility has. So now I'm ready to insert the IV, and I've applied the tourniquet. So the vein that we're gonna go in is in the hand, we're gonna go right there. So before we even stick the vein, we first have to disinfect the site. And we're going to use the kits, chloroprep that it comes with. And depending on what type of kit you have will depend on what it looks like. So with this particular one, we're gonna take this and just push it together and you'll hear that cracking noise. That's just releasing all the chloroprep. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna work my way outward. And we're gonna clean the site for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to let it completely dry. So in the center, and I'm cleaning. We're gonna clean for 30 seconds. Now the site has completely dried, so I'm ready to stick the vein. So what I'm gonna do first is I want to stabilize this vein. I don't want it to roll away on me. So I'm gonna go below the area where I cleaned and I'm just going to pull on the skin, which will help stabilize the vein. Then I'm gonna hold my IV, I'm holding it with my thumb and index finger at that area. And um, I'm going to hold it bevel up and I'm gonna go in at give or take about a 20 degree angle. And I'm going in the way that the vein is naturally made because we just want this plastic cannula to slide in there. Okay, so here we go. You're going to feel a sharp stick, okay? Okay, I have blood return, and you can see that in the chamber right there. Now remember, I wanna go just a hair bit more. Okay, I'm there, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to thread this off. It's in there, so now after that, I wanna pop the tourniquet, and I want it to take my finger and I want to apply firm pressure, because I don't want it to leak out. Then I'm gonna hit the safety button, and it's gonna remove the needle and then I'm gonna connect the access device. So I'm going to connect this and then twist this on. And make sure that is nice and secure when you do this because you don't want it to get loose. So first I'm going to check for blood return and we have it. Then I'm going to flush the IV and I'm gonna flush using a push pause flush. I'm going to flush in about three to five cc. So I'm going to do one to two cc's, pause, flush again, one to two. And I'm looking at the site. It's not bubbling up, which would mean infiltration. And how does the site feel to you? Feels fine. Doesn't hurt. Okay. And it looks great. And because we're using a neutral displacement cap, there's no sequence required. So I'm just going to clamp it off. And then I'm just going to undo this. But let's say that this is a positive pressure cap. Well, with this, it would change my sequence with how I would clamp. Like for instance, I would flush and then I would disconnect from this cap with my flush and then I would clamp. You can also have negative pressure. And with those, what you would do is flush then you would clamp and then disconnect. So just be familiar with the type of device you're using. And we're going to secure with our dressing. I'm just gonna lay that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Kuros cap just to protect the site. There we go. So now we're going to secure it. I'm going to, with this particular dressing, you wanna get familiar with your kits, what's in your kits because everything's different. I'm going to take this part 
off like so, and I'm gonna hold it at this end. And it has a notched area, so I want this part to lay on the top of the cap where before it goes in to the access, the extension set. So I'm just going to lay it there. I'm going to apply some firm pressure just to get it down on the skin. Okay, so I'm securing that down by touching it. Then what I wanna do is I want to slightly compress these sides and I'm going to just lift this tubing up just a little bit because I want those notch parts to get underneath that part of the IV. So I'm pressing everything down, making sure it's nice and secure. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear off these edges around the IV, this part right here. Little edges. And then as you're doing that, just push it down, make sure it sticks to the skin because you don't wanna lose your IV after you have started it. Then what I wanna do is I wanna take this part of the tape this big piece and I'm going to lay it across this part so it just provides extra securement so we have that there I'm applying pressure like that I'm just sealing it down nice and sealed then with this particular extension tubing remember the letter J okay because that's how you want to secure it down. We don't want this flopping everywhere. That's gonna put tension on the IV line, causing possibly the IV to slip out, and we want to protect it. And then there's this other piece of tape that you will use to secure the tail of the IV. So I've already went ahead and filled it out. Um, I've put the insertion date here, put whatever date your facility requires you to put. So I'm going to peel that off, and I'm gonna put this up again in the J shape and I'm going to lay that there, and I'm gonna just take this piece of tape and just slide it on this part. And then be sure you smooth the edges down so that it sticks. And that will just help protect that site from falling out and just keep it more secure. Then dispose of this in the receptacle area um, that your facility requires you to dispose these types of things in. Remove our gloves, perform hand hygiene, and document. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you would like to watch more videos on nursing skills, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.